Let's draw the NMR spectrum of 2 pentanone. Now the pent means we have five carbons in a row, and the 2-ohn means that it is a ketone with a double bonded oxygen on the second carbon. That means we have three hydrogens on that carbon there. We have two hydrogens on that carbon, two hydrogens on this carbon, and three hydrogens on that one. Okay, now here are the things that I want to make sure you understand. The hydrogens that are farthest away from the electronegative atom are going to be the ones that are closest to zero ppm. And the closer you get to electronegative atoms, the farther away from zero or the farther to the left you're going to end up going. It's actually really tough to tell which of these two, these three hydrogens or these three hydrogens are going to be furthest to the left or have the highest shift. But uh, I mean, I'm just going to look it up myself and then tell you what it is. What matters to your teacher is that you have the proper splitting pattern for each one. Now, these three hydrogens, that's going to make an integrated area of three on your peak. But how many hydrogens are on the carbon adjacent to it? Well, if you go over, there's no hydrogens there, which means that these are not going to be split at all. That's going to mean that they appear as a singlet, even in the high resolution NMR spectrum. These two hydrogens which are equivalent, are adjacent to two other hydrogens. That means they're going to be split twice. And once they're split twice, it makes a triplet. Similarly, these three hydrogens are adjacent to just two others. So it's going to form a triplet as well. Now, these two hydrogens are adjacent to two hydrogens on their left, at least the way I've drawn it, and three hydrogens on the right. That's five total. And when it gets split five times, you end up with six smaller peaks, which are called a sextet. Now I'm gonna start with the low resolution NMR spectrum, just to give you a feel for what's happening here. If I start at zero ppm, I can put a little thing there for TMS or tetramethylsilane, that's our standard. Now, like I said, the farthest away you are from the electronegative atoms, those are the closest to zero. So I'm going to put a peak, I don't know, somewhere uh, for these three hydrogens. The integrated area of that is going to be three because it represents three hydrogens. That's just the total area under the curve. That actually ends up being at about 0 0.9 apparently, but I'm looking that up to know it. I would never have been able to guess that myself. The next furthest away from the electronegative atoms are these two. So go a little further bit down and, uh, and give yourself a little integrated area of two. Now again, I'm not splitting these because this is a low resolution NMR spectrum. Turns out that that ends up being about 1.6. And again, it's really tough to know which of these is going to be further away from zero. It turns out that these are next. These sit at about 2.1, and there are three of them. So I'll show an integrated area of three at 2.1. And then these two hydrogens are at 2.4. See, those are so close together that it'd be impossible to know which one's to the left or right. The low resolution NMR spectrum has relative integrated areas of two, three, two, and three. But what really matters is that you have one of the threes closest to zero and one of the twos next. Cool. Now the high resolution NMR spectrum is going to look similar, except each of those gets split just a little more. I'll still give myself the TMS peak there. Now, these three hydrogens were these three hydrogens, and they were adjacent to two others, which makes it a triplet. So instead of giving yourself a single peak there, give yourself a one, two, one triplet, where the middle bar 
is double the size of either of those. When I say one, two, one, I mean the relative heights. Next, we have these two. Those were adjacent to five other hydrogens, which makes them a sextet. Now, I actually forget what the arrangement for a sextet is. So I have to go to my old Pascal's triangle and work it out. One, six, four, one, one, five, ten, ten, five, one. I'm looking for the row that has six numbers in it for the sextet, and I end up with a one, five, ten, ten, five, one ratio. Nice. Next, I have these three hydrogens here, which apparently are not split at all. So I'll just keep that as one tall peak, the singlet. Then I have the two hydrogens that were on the opposite side of the ketone group. They were split into a triplet. So I'll just give myself the one, two, one again. See, one, two, one for the row of Pascal's triangle that has three numbers in it. And there's my high resolution NMR spectrum. Beautiful. The point is you being able to figure out the splitting pattern and knowing that the farther away hydrogens are from the electronegative atom, the closer they are to zero. Not bad. Thanks for sticking with me and best of luck.